Hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy Zach. Happy Monday, May 4th. Uh, God bless you guys. What up, AM fam out there? All my brothers and sisters, all the youth uh, from the ministry, from the youth department. Um, God bless you guys. Uh, love y'all. I believe the word of the Lord um, is going to bless you today. It comes from Proverbs chapter 4. And we're going to read from verses 18 through 27. Father God, I just thank you, Lord. Bless your people today. Um, shine light on darkness, Lord. Your word says, Jesus, that the way of the righteous like the first gleam of dawn, which shines ever brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. Lord Jesus, I just thank you, Lord. Um, again, um, bless the word. Please give an understanding to people. Please give people ears to hear. Let your word fall on good ground so we can bring forth fruit, fruit that glorifies you. In Jesus' name. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I sort of hinted at it uh, in the prayer there. Uh, we're going to get right into it. So, again, Proverbs chapter 4, verses 18 through 27. And I'm reading it from the New Living Translation. And I'll try to uh, give some uh, King James, too, because uh, I like um, the same version in certain parts. So, here we go. The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines ever brighter until the full light of day but the way of the wicked is like total darkness they have no idea what they are stumbling over my child pay attention to what i say listen carefully to my words don't lose sight of them let them penetrate deep into your heart for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life avoid all perverse talk Stay away from corrupt speech. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. So, you know, um, the Lord spoke to me just uh, real quick here. Just wanted to point out some things. You know, it's so true. You know, if you think of, uh, you know, the beginning of the scriptures there, verse 18 and 19. Um, the way of the righteous like the first gleam of dawn, which shines ever brighter until the full light of day. You know, when you're thinking of a sunrise, you know, that right when the, right when the, the sun, you know, um, starts peaking and those first sun, sun, sunbeams start um, breaking the darkness, you know, um, the, the sunlight, you know, it, 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 it casts out the darkness. Um, and when that sun keeps rising and rising and rising, you know, that day keeps getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And oh God, I'm just reminded of what Jesus does for you. You know, when I first got saved, man, I was in darkness. Um, I didn't know, I didn't know what, what, uh, what tripped me up, you know? Um, I didn't know the, the plan of the enemy. You know, I just fell to his devices um, I was just a, I was just a, I was just a, a gazelle, you know, just waiting in the brushes, <clears throat> you know, for a, um, just, or like a gazelle out in the open. I didn't know where that, where that line was, you know, hiding, you know, um, you know, the Bible says, you know, the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, you know, but I had no idea. Um, and thank God for his mercies for not letting me be, be devoured. You know, we know uh, before I got saved, I thank God for his mercies, you know, and uh, and I just want you guys out there to meditate on that. You know, thank God for his mercies. And if you're there still still living a life, um, if the Lord, if you stumbled across this video, you know, the Lord wants to speak to you today. You know, the Lord's trying to save you. He's trying to be that light that shines brighter and brighter to you. He's trying to light up your life. He's trying to shine light on the darkness because there's lions out there seeking, seeking you <laughs> to devour you. You know, many people have fallen. You, you could probably name a whole lot over your life. Um, but thank God. Um, okay. Um, you know, with Jesus, it keeps getting better and better. Your life. <laughs> Yeah, again, you might have struggles, but with Jesus, I'd rather, I'd rather go through the struggle with Jesus so I can get help through that struggle than to go through that struggle with no help, 
okay? Jesus is trying to help you, all right? But the flip side of that, but the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. You know, have you ever been through a country road at dark, you know, at night, you know, winding road through the forest at dark, at dark? you know, I was leaving, uh, you know, a um, Bible camp. Um, it was, you know, late one night, I was driving home from a service and it was, it was summertime and, you know, it was way out in the country. So I had to drive home uh, this winding woody, woody path and, you know, I was, you know, just <laughs> call me crazy, but, you know, I just wanted to, you know, experiment. I just want to see how dark it truly was because you couldn't see nothing. Okay. Um, I had to use my brights. So, you know, I just went real slow, real quick and <laughs> bear with me. Um, I turned off the lights and oh my God goodness Woo it was the scariest thing i've ever done in my life man or one of them you know you couldn't see nothing it was so scary it was so scary oh my god oh my god it was so scary uh you couldn't see anything you couldn't see anything you didn't know if a bear was on the road a wolf you didn't see anything you know so i you know i, I turned the lights on real quick and oh my god you know i just wanted to see how dark it truly was and that just reminds me you know of the scripture here you know you don't um but the way of the wicked is this total darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. You know, um, when you're in dark, you have no idea. You don't. You have no idea about the sin, about how dangerous sin truly is. You know, you have no idea when you're in the moment. You know, sin always, always keeps you longer than you want to be kept. And it always takes you further than you want to go. You know, sin, sin is darkness, man. You know, it is, is, you don't know, you know, this, this dark world, you don't know all the traps of the enemy. And this is why Jesus came to, he, he is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. He's come, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Um, he's come to light up your world. Um, he, he's come to, to, to do away with the darkness. He's, he's, he's come to shine light in this dark world um he's trying to save us y'all so um verse 23 guard your heart above all else and um guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life um in the king james version it says in verse 23 keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life why does God, why is God saying this? Why, why does God say we need to guard our heart or we need to, we need to, uh, we need to guard our heart above all else? Well, <laughs> the next verse, for it determines the course of your life. You know, what you put into your heart, you know, the Bible says you reap what you sow. So what you sow in to your heart, that's what you're going to get. You know, if you sow in um, corn, you're not going to get a pumpkin. If you sow in tomatoes, you're not going to get cucumbers. You you reap what you sow. So if you're if you're sowing in lustful music, if you listen to lustful, you, if you listen to I don't know what the kids listen to nowadays, but when I was a kid, <coughs> it was probably like Usher or <coughs> or I don't know something like that. Um, genuine. <laughs> um, you know, when I was listening to that music all day. I wanted to I wanted to be with with my boo. I wanted to be, you know, before I got saved and I was listening to that junk, you know, all I wanted to do once midnight come came, I wanted to have sex. Or I you know, I, I had lust in my heart because of that. Because that's what I was putting in my heart. You know, I'm trying to help someone. The Lord's trying to help someone today. Guard your heart. Okay? Um, you know, people say birds of a feather. Finish it. <laughs> flock together you know you you um you are the company you keep you know you got to guard your heart all right <clears throat> evil communication corrupts good manners the bible says you know if you're hanging out with with people that that are bad for you that are poisonous you know they gonna poison you <clears throat> excuse me a lot of uh dust pollen sorry <laughs> um but yeah you know, glory to God. You got to guard your heart. You have to guard your heart. Um, this last scripture here. Um, we're going to finish up. 
uh, it says, avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Watch out for distractions, the Bible saying. Jesus is saying. Keep your feet from following evil. You know, when I, when I, uh, I like the King James Version too. It says, but put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. You know, um, when I read the scripture, I just just think about you know you, you know from a man's perspective, and late, maybe it's true for for ladies too. But say you walk in <clears throat> in the mall, um, or walk in you know even in your neighborhood, or in the school, in college, on campus, you know you just mind your own business, and all of a sudden, you know I remember you know uh, when I was on campus, um, and I'm just being real, okay? You know that's how you help people by being real. You know I just. Uh, you know, this is before I got married, okay? <laughs> um, but it can even happen to to someone who's married. It's even it's even happened to me. Um, you know, you're just walking down the street and all of a sudden some some woman passes you dressed promiscuous, you know, um dressed with tight clothing on, um, spandex. Lord Jesus. Um, you know, and you're tempted, you wanna you wanna you wanna look to your right or you want to look to your left and you want to you want to you want to gaze um because that's just the flesh but the bible is saying please take heed the bible is saying guard your heart okay goes back to that it's it's saying look straight ahead verse 25 look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you <laughs> okay um mark out a straight path for your feet stay on the safe path don't get sidetracked don't get distracted. Don't look at her. Don't look at him. <laughs> Keep your feet from following evil. In the King James Version, turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. If you're in that situation, the Bible is saying you need to remove yourself <laughs> from that situation. Don't look to the right. Don't look. Do not look at her. <laughs> do not look. Do not look at him. Do not look to the right nor to the left. But the Bible is saying you need to stay focused. You need to look straight on. Do not get tempted. Because if you look to the right, you could be tempted. And tempted and you could sin against the Lord. I'm trying to help someone. <laughs> Jesus is trying to help someone. Look straight on. Look straight on. I'm telling you, it works. You got to tell yourself, man, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ against that. Lord Jesus, you just have to say, Lord Jesus, eyes straight on, look straight ahead, look straight ahead, Zach, you know, so, um, trying to help someone, guys, um, God bless y'all, you know, um, because the flesh is real, you know, you got to crucify your flesh, you know, you got to, you, you got to take heed to the word of God, if you want to be kept, God will keep you, that's the Holy Spirit's job, but you have to submit to it, you got to submit to the Holy Spirit, Okay, so God bless y'all. Love y'all. Be encouraged. Father God, just thank you, Jesus, so much. Um, I give you all of the glory. Lord, please let this word help someone. Please help this young man, young woman, even my brother or sister out there. Please help us, God, to guard our heart. Help, our, help us, God, to guard our heart, Lord Jesus, above, above everything else. Because out of it um, are the issues of life. Father God, so help us God to keep our heart, help us God to guard our hearts, help us God, I'm so thankful that you are the truth, that, that you are the way, the truth, and the life, I thank you for you, Jesus, you are the light of the world, you have come to, 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 <laughs> to shine light on darkness, to show us the way, Lord God, um, because the way of the darkness, uh, the, way of, the way of the wicked is like total darkness, they have no idea what they're stumbling over, so I thank you, Jesus, for saving us. Um, thank you, Jesus, for, for, for guarding our hearts. Help us, God, to look straight on. Help us, God, not to fall to distractions or lust. Father God, I just thank you right now. Thank you for being a forgiving God. Thank you for being our help. Thank you for being our Savior. You are here to save us. We thank you. God bless y'all. Love y'all. All glory to King Jesus. See you tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen.